What's up, my pilots? Angry Poncho here, and we are back playing Let's Urinate on Stone Men in a Discotheca. <laughs> this game, you just you can't stop it, man. Anyway, I'm gonna wait until the drunkenness wears off and we can access the Alka Seltzer. Unfortunately, you can't go ahead and take it just to stop yourself from being drunk. You have to wait until it wears off and you're hungover, and then you can take the alcohol seltzer. Which sort of a little bit of a waste of time here, but it's interesting that Conker doesn't dance when he's drunk. He only drunk. He only dances when, when he's when he's standing out there sober. <laughs> All of a sudden, ooh. all right, let's go ahead and fix it up. You can actually skip those cutscenes uh, of him getting drunk, and then the cutscene of him taking the alcohol seltzer as well, if you like to do so. I, you see, I don't even think you can do your your tail spin when you're falling out of that one. Okay, now don't push him off the edge. Let's be careful. You gotta be you gotta be a little bit cautious when you're doing this because these ladies up here will push him right off the edge. And you got to be just a bit careful. Wait until she goes back in and then push it by. If you wait too long, she's gonna come by and push him right off. Damn! It takes precise timing. We're, just, we're gonna have to just push him back up there again. Oh, and I waited too long. To the tail lift. Darn. Yeah, this is a pretty tough part of the game if I do say so myself. I don't know if those three guys over there are supposed to be the ones that you brought in with you or not, but they they don't they look like they've picked up an interesting style. Actually, I think those guys are always there. But then again, you, in order to get in, you have to have have to have had your posse with you. So I suppose you could argue that it's the same same caveman. Who knows? You know, uh, somebody asked me in the comments, what happens when you pee on the female ones? And I have no idea, honestly. I've never tried it. <laughs> I probably might have done it by accident once or twice, but I didn't notice the uh, repercussions of it. Get in there. Oh, come on. <laughs> Ugh. It's so hard to aim. You have to keep... Ah. Okay, sometimes if you're lucky, you can get enough time to get going again. And stop him from hitting you. Oh, other times you just get effed. Oh, seriously, this is really difficult. I don't understand why this this one task is just so hard to do. You have to get it just lined up just right, and you can't get too close to the guy while he's dancing either. So he doesn't take kindly to that. And so, no matter what you do, it's kind of tough to aim. All right, let's try it again. This is one of the harder parts of the game. Even after I figured out that you could increase your distance, this still was just not an, not an easy task, honestly. I don't know. The, the might the might have it might have this might have been improved by a little bit of code refinement in this particular scene, just to make it easier so that you don't have to push him all the way in, but just get him near it and he falls in. I don't know. At this point, you have to be fairly precise with what you're doing. I'm gonna try to get a good starting point for us here, but as you can see. As soon as you pull it out, it's like, oh, it could go anywhere from there. Ah, this is a good place to start from. He's going to go right in. And we get to see the cutscene again, of course. As if we don't know where he's going to land. Actually, you know, while we have a moment, let's pee on the female one, too. <laughs> like, ah, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm surprised that doesn't get you thrown out. Like, the bouncer should run down and toss you out. It'd be hilarious. Oh, uh, we're still staggering around. At least the music in this area is tolerable. Uh, it's, it's interesting that it's a, a techno club for cavemen and rock monsters and stuff. But, eh. Whatever floats your boat. Yeah. And take another hit. What fun. Alright, get over that thing. I want to push it right off. This is really tricky, and you have to remember that the rules don't apply. You can move this guy in any direction just by pushing in that direction. So you don't have to move yourself around in order to get past these ladies. Okay, wait, wait, don't roll in front of there. Jeez. Alright, let's be cautious. When you're going downhill, it can take a second to stop him. So, well, dude, that's not... Oh, he's still up there. He's still up there. I saw him. He didn't fall off. Did he? No, he's not around here. Okay, he's still up there. I think we just need to get back to him. Oh, dude, I'm gonna die just falling out of these holes. Alright, you get out of my way. You better still be there. Oh, thank goodness. Pull him back on the... Into... <laughs> you hear Conker talking just a little bit more? Ah, there we go. That closes the middle one and opens up the other two. I think after this, we don't have to actually... Uh, tail whip, land on the bar, land on the bar! 
Ah, oh, perfect. Didn't take any damage. Let me grab a couple of these bits of chocolate that are running around. Because we might need them as we push one of these guys in. Or if they decide to come after us. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to get the next two guys in the same drunkenness state. So we'll probably have to fill up twice more. Ah, uh, I know it's kind of repetitive, but uh, it's, that's the tasks that you put, they put you through. You gotta do what you gotta do. Sometimes you gotta pee on a gargoyle. Who knows? Alright, so this one you gotta get lined up. I know it's, it's interesting that these ladies are so much larger than the male ones. I don't know. Not sure where that design decision came in. Maybe it just, they were too large when they rolled up into a ball. If they were any bigger. I don't know. I don't think they really had to follow any rules of conservation when they were doing this though. So, oh come on, get it. Knock him in, seriously. I must be hitting him at least occasionally, or he wouldn't be. Come on. Oh, come on! He's right there, he's right at the edge. I think I'm hitting him, but... Yeah, this is impressive. I gotta say, Conquer, that is... Ah, a skill not everyone has. Yeah, if as soon as you zip up, he's gonna come after your ass. So watch out. Chase you around the bar. Yeah... Not the easiest task. Like I say, from where, from where they start and how far you have to push them, it can be difficult to get them where they want to be. So, or to get them where the game wants you to get them, rather. So this is gonna take a little while here. I don't feel like cutting it out because I, I do want to. I'm like cutting out the failures. I mean, because I do want you guys to see just how tough it is to do this this particular task in this game. I think we might be served by starting a, a little bit closer to him. And he is not going to move, he's dancing with somebody, so he's going to stay right there. So, we kind of can get a head start on him here. Alright, now just be careful that you don't roll him too far to one side. You see, he's right there, and I just can't... Oh, come on, hit him! Come on, he's right there! There we go. Maybe, maybe I was aiming too high before. I'm not sure. But he falls out right above that middle platform, and I think if we're fast enough, we might be able to get this next guy too. That would be perfect. Yeah, I think we're going to be able to get him. Awesome. Oh, he's right next to the hole. That's so easy. Goodness. Great! And when the second one falls... Bambi, you're free! <laughs> hey, there's money! Hey! It's a pretty good disguise. I agree. And you're instantly sober. I don't think we can jump up there. Yeah, we're going to have to go down one of these pipes. But if you remember correctly, it should knock us out right on top of the cache. I don't know if we actually took damage there. Cha-ching! Hey, I'm here. Hurry up. Pick me up, shithead. That's probably one of my favorite things that the money says. Excellent. Get back and bow us. Here we come. Oh, yeah. And maybe some braces, too. Oh, I'm sorry, Conker. That was mean. That was uncalled for, my friend. This is, where we're, this is the way we're supposed to leave, isn't it? Let's go back out the door? I don't remember, to be honest with you. Ah, it is. Yep, yeah, we got the cash. Where do you think you're going with that? The money. I'm following her! I don't think so. I think you need to see the The boss? As long as we can get away from this loud music, that would be perfect. Well, this is the fella. Happy. <laughs> Show. Sure. This is the wise guy that tried to steal my dough. What do you gotta say for yourself, boy? Um, what? Oh, hey. Hey, Barry, how you doing? Me. Do you know this tea leaf? Yeah, like I'd associate with a caveman. The broad does not seem to know you. Like, is it okay if I go now? I gotta go powder my nose. Get out of here. Wait. Let's get back to business. I just got one thing to do. I'll be with you in a minute. People gotta show the appropriate levels of respect. When they step out of line, they can expect to be respected back. 
One of you guys has shown no respect. Who it is? I don't know. Could have been Frankie. Could have been Chicho. Could have been Polly. I think it was Polly. Don't you ever do that again to me! Uh, look, you know, you can have the money. I, in fact, I've got more money. You can have that too, if you want. Oh no, what am I doing? You can keep the money, but you gotta do me a little job first. A, a job? Oh, yeah, cool. I, but I mean, you know, I'm gonna have to, I'll have to consider it first. But, I mean, what is it? What, what I have to do? Good, good. I'm glad you accepted. Step this way. Ah, another great movie parody okay. in progress. Here's the plan. We got ourselves a little problem. In fact, several little problems. You already got the disguise, so that's that one covered. What else you need is one of these. It's called a bomb. Really? These are the problem. Where they came from, I don't know. They seem totally out of place in this ecosystem. But they're here. And they're on my patch. So, what I propose that you do is use your disguise acumen. Take the bomb through here. Okay. Down here. Alright. Out of here. Wait a minute. Oh, there? Okay. And drop it here. Where the egg was. By the way. When that bomb goes off, I suggest you leave town. And if you don't pull it off, I suggest you leave town. Let's go to work. Oh, well, the bomb's nice and lit already. That's nice. I think it's time to go. <laughs> Here's an intense segment. Conqueror carrying the bomb. Yeah, don't touch any of these guys. It doesn't end well. They'll smack ya! I don't know if they'll blow up the bomb or not, but... I don't really want to find out. I like the way Conqueror shuffles when he's carrying it, like, uh, uh, uh. You know, you're trying to carry something, carry something really big, and it keeps hitting your legs whenever you move, and so you have to take lots of tiny little steps in order to carry it. What a pain, seriously. <laughs> Notice that the music for the area has changed, now that we're carrying the bomb in. Attention to detail, my friends. We're not, we're not just moving through the, the same area. You know what this reminds me of? And I'm not sure if, if it's this, the case of both of these games parried, parodying the same movie, but there's a, there's a mission in Grand Theft Auto 4 where you have to do something fairly similar. You end up driving a truck with a bomb uh, in the back, and you don't know it at the time, and you find out partway through the mission that you're supposed to blow the bomb up. Oh, I see now. You can't take the bomb when you've got these. You can't take the bomb through those pits. You have to go past the uvulae on the other, on the other path. What is that? Would that, would that be the plural of uvula? Uvulae? I would guess so. Who really knows the answers to these sorts of questions? And I don't know if the bomb will actually go off if you take too long or not, but uh, it's not too hard to make it to where you're going. Is the music getting more intense? I'm actually being close to going off, I don't know. When you get to the edge, Conquer throws it automatically. Hey, our disguise! Oh. Oh, no. I think oh, it's time to no. leave. Oh, no! <laughs> A new way to go will be open. Oh, wow. Oh, shoot. That's not fun. Apparently these platforms sink when you touch them. Dude, Conquer, you can't be on fire all the time or I can't jump, dude. Oh, jeez, that's intense. I almost just died. Because when you're burning, you can't jump. And if you land on the next platform while you're still burning, then you're going to want to jump immediately, but you can't. And if you land in the lava, you're going to burn some more. So you just can't win, man. You can't win. So, lesson learned. Don't fall in the lava. Ooh, this next part's fun. This might take a couple tries, but I love this part. Uh, where could we be now, then? Yeah. It's one of those hip cavemen. Oh, I, I... oh, 
Man! Why does this always happen to me? What the heck is going on? They took our money! I recognize that money. <laughs> oh no. What is the world coming to? When a squirrel can't even go through a dinosaur themed well without getting mugged by a bunch of prehistoric brats. Hey, give me my money back. What to the moon me? Moon moon. What? I'm reminded distinctly of Spyro. You see, those guys even look similar to the guys from Spyro that moon you. Now that gives me another idea. Sometimes a thunderjet scratch. What? Hey, those are guys from the club. Right. And off they go on to these hoverboards. Right. Time to teach those gyro spiders a lesson. Caveman on. Hoverboards. I'm not going to ask the obvious question, I'm just going to say that. Anyway, you can jump, you push forward to go faster, and I think you could guess how you turn. But there are a couple areas that you want to jump, one is right back there when that gap appears. I might die doing this, to be honest. You do want to have full health when you start, and the goal is going to be to run these guys right off of the road. And it's occasionally when you get a jump like that, you're, you're going to want to actually... Oh, don't hit the dinosaur's legs, that's an instant death. Jump at that part right there, and you'll get some extra speed. I think staying to the left there is faster as well. So let you know, you're kind of going in a... Not a figure eight pattern, uh, just sort of a, a loop that crosses the central area twice. If you can land on top of these guys, it's even better, because you do like a, a instant damage really quickly. Oh darn, jump at the wrong time so you'll lose speed. And the only way you're going to catch up to these guys is if you don't hit things and you hold down the control stick forward all the time. So that gives you a little bit of extra speed almost on this guy. Come on. Hit him. Hit him, Conquer. Oh, right, yeah, you had to use the frying pan. What am I thinking? I thought you had to just run into him. That's Star Fox Adventures. Oh, man, I only have one health left. Wow, that turns the pressure up quite a bit. I thought I had full life going into this. Oh, crap. Get out of here. Oh, $536. Nice. Don't try to get the money up there, because you can't, obviously, get through the cage wall. Don't worry. If they're showing you money, you'll eventually be able to get it. Just gotta be patient here. I'm gonna have to wreck this thing. Seriously. It's gonna end really badly for us. Alright, catch up to this guy in the straightaway. Get him, Conquer! Yes! Not a thousand dollars. That's all of our money. Oh no, that's the total, actually. That doesn't know how much we got back from him. So we're still missing about 500. This guy in the front must have it. He cuts to the right. Here. And he also cuts to the right again, farther ahead. So pay attention, you want to cut right here. There was some chocolate there, but I didn't eat. That's a certain issue. Why am I not eating the chocolate? It's right there. And... Oh, man, that was close. He pulls away from you on... Whoa, I don't know why I got yanked to the side there. I didn't do that. He pulls away from you on these straightaways sometimes, but you catch up to him in that area where you have to go downhill. He eats chocolate conquer, thank God. Okay. It makes me feel so much more comfortable. Alright, come on. We got him now. We're gonna catch up to him and get him before we break the next area. Oh! Dude, he was right there. I almost had him. Yeah, he's gonna pull away again on this zone. Cause he just, for some reason, he gets through here faster even when you're at top speed. So you'll grab him again on the next lap. Learning when to cut that corner helps, too. So you can get a head start. See, I'm already a lot closer to him than I was not before. Gotcha! 16-10. We've got our total. Now, on the next time around, we need to be watching for that ramp where the money was. That's where we want to go. Pretty sure, at least. Whoa. Jeez, the dinosaur was just the wrong place. You can see now the gate has changed back to the way it was. And up we go! Wow, first try. That's a really fun segment, I gotta say. Oh! With an epic conclusion. To be continued in the next episode.